Hey guys, I'm Dan, and this is Freaky. Since I've been on TV, I've decided to keep my feet on the ground and not let the fame go to my head. Page 78. My style tip should have been on the front page. Feet on the ground. Feet on the ground. grow like seven centimeters in the next two years, I might have a go, you know, at modeling and that. I think it would suck. See, now look at her. She is so skinny. You have to eat like carrot sticks and lettuce leaves. Yeah, but like, you go to parties, meet cool people, and it would so be worth it to have everyone looking at your magazines. Whatever. I'm meeting Jane and Chris in the park. Wanna come? Did you see what Jane wore to the party yesterday? She so didn't suit that top. Later then, have fun with the stick insects. Through. I'll show you the studio. <laughs> okay, where am I? We have always wanted to be, honey. The photo booth for the stars. Now, I'm Damien. I'm your photographer. Follow me. Come on! Come on! Miss Maxine, she'll do your face in here. Hi, Marla. Great hair. How do you know my name? Oh, honey, by the time we're finished with you, everyone will know your name. Now, sit down and make yourself comfortable. I thought this was just one of those cheap tacky moments. <laughs> Mahala, honey, we only cater to the best. Cheap. Tacky? Bite your tongue! Okay, okay, you, you, you're at a party. You're at a party. You're feeling good. You're looking great. Oh, I'm perfect. Perfect. Yeah, give me some more of that. Oh, yeah. Okay, just hit. Oh, perfect. You're dancing. You're dancing like a wave. Like, like your fresh air. You're giving the fresh air dance. Marla, it's dark and scary. Oh, suddenly, there's sound behind you. You turn. What could it be? What could it be? It's a, it's a fluffy little bunny rabbit. It's a bunny rabbit. I'm oh, perfect. You're on holiday. It's a beautiful day. Ah, oh, there's sunshine. You're carefree and relaxed. I'm oh, relaxed. You're a Pacific princess. You're in, you're the love boat. You're the love boat. That's what you are. Three steam ahead. Lovely. Oh, yeah, you're mysterious. Oh, you're unknowable. Oh, everybody wants to know you. You're a star. Oh, oh, give me one of those. Uh, I don't care about poor people looks. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You are so the money, Marla. So the money. Yeah. Oh, you're scaring me. You're scaring me. Oh, shivers. Oh, oh, I'm spent. Voila. I think you'll be happy with those snaps. Thanks, Peter. I had the best time. Oh, don't thank us. You're a great fashion model. Really? Yeah. Bye. Bye. Oh, I hate it when they leave. They're so young. They're so young. Oh, hey. Um, what about your... dress? Hey, that's her. Hey, you reckon? Man, she looks different. Hey, buy one of your own. Is this your sister or something? Is that was her? That was her. That was her. No, no, no. That's her. That was her. No, no, no. no, no. This is going to be with that's yours. Her cheeks look too fat. It's not me. 
what am I supposed to wear after school? A ball gown or something? So not a good look. I reckon she looks really cross-eyed in that. She's pretty chunky too. Needs to lose a few kilos. Hey, lay off, all right? And it's only the angle of the shot that makes me look heavy. Supermodel is a psycho. I reckon what's she doing in this mall anyway? I used to have this real stink babysitter who would never let me stay up, but now I'm 14, I don't need one. When my parents go out, I stay up for as long as I want. Dad, Babysitter? Well, she's the best I could do at short notice. Anyway, she's not that bad. Tim, Ruth sucks, Mum. She's always been good to me. Because you pay her. She's evil. Why do you have to go out with this guy anyway? Look, we've already had this discussion. Ah, here they are. Right, come on, Ruth. What about Sonia? She's cool. Look, it's too late. Wait, anyway, she's here now. Hi, Ruth. Sorry I'm late. Hey, Tim, hey, Susan, how's it going? Look, I've got to run. It won't be late. Midnight tops. Bye, guys. Nice. Oh, they'll be fine. Have a wonderful night. Sure, there are dishes to be done in the kitchen. And then it's bedtime. Now. But it's only. Now! Then <laughs> she's such a cow. Don't sweat it. I've got a plan. You've already said that. I'll call you back. What is going on? Tim squirted chocolate sauce over my favourite top. Why did you do that? She was being a jerk. I was not. Was too. Was not. Was too. Was not. Look, stop your fighting. 
finish the dishes, and go to bed. What about my favorite top? I have to wear it tomorrow. Then wash it. We don't know how to use our new washing machine. It's really hard to use. Get in trouble? Maybe. But I bet Ruth won't babysit us again. <laughs> Where's the chips? you just do wrong? Nothing. You opened the door. It could have been anyone, okay? Oh yeah, sorry. You're focusing? No, the babysitter is, but we locked... She's on the phone. Okay. We've had a guy escape custody near here, and we think he's hiding out in the area. He's pretty dangerous, so we go around telling everyone to keep things locked down nice and tight. And don't open the door for anyone, alright? Don't forget to tell the babysitter. We will. Have a good night then, eh? now with the babysitter. She was doing the laundry. Please hurry. So? Well, they're on their way now. They said they'd be here. That was fast. Man, what's with those brats? <sighs> Paul, what are you doing here? I didn't call right back, I got worried, so I came over. Really? There's an escape weirdo out there. What? Hi. Come on, officer. Basement's this way. Most schools have a kid who's different, which is cool. But what sucks is when other kids hassle them. 
Those kids are stupid and have no respect for other people's feelings. Shh. Okay, sorry, you're just trying to present a TV show here. See? No respect. Choice, Mum. That'll stain nicely. student joining you this morning. Now, his appearance is a little bit different, but I'm sure you're all mature enough to see past that and treat him as one of your peers. Give me a break. I'd like you all to meet Martin. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Dennis. I can't see over Martin's big head. Can you ask him to take his helmet off? Can you move over a place for Dennis, please, Martin? just lime juice in my mother's pantry. I've heard all about that kid, Mark. I think he's got that skin disease. You know, the one where, like, your skin is so sensitive that the sun can just, like, you know, kill you instantly and stuff. I've heard that his whole head is completely burnt. Nah, he's just butt ugly. Speak for yourself, Dennis. Hi. Well, Cannonball Head, that helmet's a real lady trap. Shut up! Dennis. Dennis, you're like such an imbecile. Ha. Spell it. I T. good at cooking, Matt, and check out the consistency in this mixture, Tracy. Dennis, you never remember your ingredients. All you had to bring this time was the lime juice. I did have some, but I accidentally spilt it. Go and join that group over there and try and make yourself useful. With pleasure. Hi, girls. Hey, big head. Here's a stir of the batter. It's not called batter, you egg. Whatever. Let me stir it. Hey, what do you call that thing they're using over there? A spoon. All oh, right. Here. I'm bored of this. Get a fire extinguisher. 
Shouldn't the extinguishers always be left by the stove? They've just been serviced after you set them all off, Dennis. Mm. You won't open. I know what to do. Okay, ready? Go! Yay! Getting burnt down? Only because he wears this stupid helmet. Dennis! He doesn't even need it! Look! No! What did I tell you? Nothing but an attention-seeking show-off! With a bad haircut! Dennis! <laughs> now that's not lime juice! <laughs> If you want, I can stay behind and bake you a new cake. It's no trouble. I mean, after all, you have got two mouths to feed. So? What? Are you trying to be my friend then? <laughs> Looks like I'm not the only one in this class that's two faced. See you, Dennis! So, next time you see one of your classmates with a freaky face growing out in the back of their head, don't tease them. Be their friend. They might even let you use their freaky head to scare someone you don't like. I'll see you next week for three more freaky stories. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.